Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to the Stocks with Show Market Review. I wanted to review the QQQs. I just decided to go long the Qs here very late today. I actually should have just gone long the market out of the gate today. I knew there was an immediate long, uh, and so I just decided to do a late uh, long here in the Qs. Qs are going to head up to the target today. They're going to get there. $100 and $150. And beyond. Market will make a new high today. It's 11.23. We're almost there. Less than a dollar away and there's nothing stopping us now. This was an amazing call that I made in the market. And I got to give myself credit because there's so much junk out there and noise that, you know, so many people can get sucked into listening to stuff that's just not true about stocks, investments, the market. And I didn't allow that to happen to myself in my call of the market or the read here even though there was an awful lot out there about the market that was going to crash, which isn't going to happen, and it's not happening. And uh, But it's the same way with when I trade my stocks, actually, too. And I just started a Stock Twits account. And if anyone wants to go, you can follow me under Stock Twits under the Stock Swoosh. And I put my short for today on there and my call for the market. And I can't believe how many people actually are calling things the opposite of what I call. Uh, that are professional traders on that, even that stock twist, just in the short time been on there, just look, fishing around, looking at a couple of things. I saw people are, you know, calling the market lower and people are called some of my bearish gaps higher that I shorted today. I mean, so it's really very interesting. You know, it's actually, that's exactly why what I know is so valuable. I'm thinking about it. You know, if everyone did the same thing, no one would make any money, okay? That's one of the reasons why what I have to offer people, what I know is so special. Because not that many people are doing it. Not that many people see things the way that I see them. And, and yet I'm able to call things so accurately. How? Well, one is the, the way that I do it, which is reading gaps. And we're going to talk about the market gaps here. And the other thing is that I'm doing things that are very different from what mostly is out there. But if you do the same as everything that's out there and everything that's taught, you're not going to make any money. And the other reason is that I actually trade based on institutional selling or buying. That's why the market looks like this. It looks amazing. So yesterday when I read the market, I said we are going to hold or drop today as an intraday, but even if we drop today intraday intraday, it would be a fake lower and we flip around on over it very quickly. I said if we did not fake lower today, this was yesterday, then we are not going to. We actually never even faked lower yesterday and that told me a lot and then as soon as I looked at the chart this morning, as soon as I saw it, I almost screamed because the market got up to, in the gap, the QQQ is 99, which was the number that it had to go to to actually 100% go back right up to the highs and low over it, and it did it today in the gap. Not only did it hit up over the number, it did it today in the gap, and it could have rallied Monday or Friday up to 99, and if it had rallied up to 99, that would have been fine. 99 was the target. 99 was that number that the market had to get over to just make a clear, clear, precise push right up to the high. And, and, and the fact that we did it in a bullish gap is why this market is running today, why the market was an aggressive long out of the game to one minute high, and why the market will go to a new high today on the day. Because this is like perfect, people. And we didn't even fake lower, which I thought we would. Why? Because I thought the shorts would try to come in and short more into the resistance from yesterday or Friday. They didn't even make an attempt to do it. This is institutional buying that's happening today in the gap. This is institutional buying that's happening now in the last retracement back we've had for the last week or so. The market never had any institutional selling. Therefore, the market was never a short. If you don't have institutional selling, you don't get a downside move enough for something to get play in it, and it doesn't change the trend. And when you have an institutional buying, you certainly don't short it. That's why the market isn't a short. That's why the market has never been a short. That's why it's so crazy for people to be short this market. You are shorting against institutional buying. You are actually shorting where there's no institutional selling. It makes no sense. It was never made any sense to me that people were actually shorting this market. It was insanity, times a million, and yet everyone in the world out there was saying that the market actually was going to crash. Like people said this market was going to crash. 
And who knows what people are going to say now? Who cares? Who cares? Okay? I made a great call here in this market. Kept looking at what's happening in the price. And you can look about things that's happening in the world, and you can look about what stuff is happening in the economy, and you can do all of that if it helps you, just like reading fundamentals and stocks if it helps you. But if reading or thinking or overanalyzing shit like that actually helps you do the wrong thing and not take the trade, you are going to do the wrong thing and lose money in your trade. And not only that, you will miss out on the move, okay? You cannot, you cannot short against institutional selling, uh, buying. You can't short against institutional buying, and you can't buy against institutional selling, okay? You just can't make any money trading that way. So what an amazing, this is, this is going to the target. I'm so glad I decided to go long here at this market. Very, very late. I really, let's, let's, you could have gone immediately aggressive. I called it. I called it this morning in the room. I told everybody, go long the market in a one minute high today. Go, do it. You could have gone long right here. Boom, stop under the low. You're in it all day to the target. And actually this morning, I thought the market would make a new high today this morning. And, and then it just confirmed it once we started to go. Beautiful, beautiful entry in this here if you want in aggressively. Late entry for me, we'll see where it goes. I may take half off and ride the rest, but I'm going to try to hold it as long as I can because this market is going to go to the target. Beautiful call I made in this market. The market's higher. And what did I say last week? The market is probably still going to make a new high before the end of this month. And I said that six days before the end of the calendar month. And the market will make a new high before the end of October. It's playing out exactly like I thought. The retracement back is playing out like I thought. The overall longer trend is playing out like I thought. We're going to make a new high before the end of October like I thought. Like I've read, we hit on through the number in a gap, which was this morning in a bullish gap. And on top of that, the other thing I said, if you watch back all my videos in the market, is that... Oh, my Lanta, in the next four to six months, and I said this approximately around September-ish, when I, as soon as I saw it, I said it, the market is going to go to some crazy, 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 crazy bullish number in the next four to six months. Now, it has not happened yet, but it is setting up to happen because it's setting up early enough that it's plenty of time to happen. And why is that going to happen? Because people shorted this market. And... Because people are going to want to buy back into it to go out too soon who got out of it that shouldn't have got out of it. And because institutional buying is coming in, it's coming in already. It's been coming in now for the last week. It's been in it anyways. It never went away. Never went away. It's institutional buying is going to come in more to lift it higher. So all of those things. And I don't think the shorts are going to give up on it necessarily right up over the high. I, I don't even think the shorts are going to give up on it necessarily. They're probably going to give it a cushion over the high. Or they may give it up over the high and then try to reshort the market again if it blows over. And then they'll say, oh, this isn't it. What's going to happen? Let's just say, here, this is this could play out this way. And I, I don't know if it's going to play this way or not. But I know the market's going to get up over the high when it retests it. Before I thought it could retest it and then fake down again. No, once we get up over the high, we're going to make a new high. We're going to go. Now, let's just say we get up over the high and we have some crazy, crazy, crazy big monster green bar day, which I thought was going to happen around here and never happened. Never happened, has not happened, has not happened. I'm going to talk about big green bar like these. I'm talking about a big green bar that happens over the high. People are going to read that, then they're going to say, oh, now we're really extended, people are going to say. People are going to say, that's an extension bar. People are going to say, oh, we're, we're just too extended now. We can't go any higher. We're just, that's extended. People will short into a massive green bar like that whenever it sets up. And it could set up, it could set up in the next week, too. People will short after that because people like to do reversals, which is crazy. People will short into that bar. <laughs> They'll call it a uh, ignition bar. They'll call it. They'll call it whatever they call it, and it's still going to keep going after that <laughs> uh, because the market isn't crashing. So beautiful call I made here in the market. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulosity. Fab, fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. And the reason that I'm able to call this market so well is because I recaps. I'm really, really good at reading technicals, and I'm really good at reading charts, and I'm really good at reading price, and I'm really good at reading candlesticks. I'm really, really good at reading all of that, but I know how to read gaps the best, and that has taught me everything that I know, everything I do every day, the calls that I make, and the stocks that I trade, and calling the QQQs and the SPY amazingly well. Unlike anyone else has called it, not only to do what it's doing, but to set up in the way that it's setting up. So... 
people are going to get creamed, creamed at short of this market. Creamed. <laughs> so what's today? The 28th. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We'll see what the rest of this week brings. Great, great time of the year. Great time of the year to trade and make money if you know how to trade. And if you're interested in learning how to trade, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Next gap class is November 8th and 9th. I'm running a special. You get one month free in the Stock Swish Show live trading room and the Wealth Manifestation class for free. If you sign up for the next Golden Gap class by Thursday, Halloween Eve, the night before Halloween by Thursday the 30th, if you sign up by then, you get the room for free for the month of November and the Wealth class. And that's a great deal. It saves $649. You could be in the room and take my calls and take the trades in November and you get the wealth class for free as well, which I'm doing in December. And that's an amazing class to, you know, go into 2015 with. Uh, it is possible to make money trading. It is 100% possible to do this, uh, although many people do not know how. And so if you want to learn how, I can teach you because I definitely have something special here. And I really feel very grateful, actually. I feel very, very grateful and very lucky. So we'll do a final review here of everything at the end of the day, but the market's higher. Follow it through. It is so early now. It's not even funny. It's only 1130. And I don't know if the market just power trends all day or actually is pulled back to buy. Any pullback can be bought of the QQQs today, even on the five minute chart. And uh, it may not set up again like that though. Market may just blow higher all day power trend because that's what it's been pretty much doing this morning. Have a great day everyone. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com if you'd like more information or want to sign up for the special. It expires Thursday at midnight. No exceptions. If you would like more information, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Have a fantastic, fantastic day everyone. Follow me on Stock Twits. I'll put stuff on there when I can, when I have time, just like the YouTube videos too. Have a great day everyone.